One of my tricks. I wouldn't call it a trick, actually. It's called a technique. Put some oak. This is oak wood. We're going to be putting on right before we start grilling. These are oak chunks. It's going to provide a lot of good smoky, oaky flavor into the meat. Let that cook for a little bit. And we'll get to grilling. Now, speaking of grilling, we have these two beautiful prime USDA, sorry, USDA prime strip steaks. Now, we did do a quick salt brine for about 12 hours on these steaks. I wouldn't do as much salt as I normally would, but we're definitely going to be putting on the black pepper. Uh, no shame here, but that is a piece of dog hair. How did I get there? I have no idea. I oh, almost forgot the salt. Now we got these seasoned. The grates are looking pretty good as well. We're gonna rotate to the left and put these steaks on. Oh, it's great. As we mentioned before, those oak logs are sitting in there. I'd say oak chunks are sitting in there. Looking great. Absolutely perfect. Now we're cooking gas now we're cooking with gasoline. Good looking steaks, good looking fire. Happy with how this is shaping up. I love that oak flavor smell burning. Oh, it's beautiful. Not a moment too soon. Giving these guys a flip. Oh, what great. There we go, that's more like it. Put the exposure down a little bit. I think this guy wasn't uh, as hot as this guy is, but we'll make sure we uh, tend to him especially better. You don't have to rotate these to give them that cross hatch or whatever word you like to use to look the, the, these things don't don't provide cooking the fire below provides cooking what i'm doing now is just rotating to make it look a little prettier a little better presentation not required come back to you in a few now this is how i'm doing this cook today i believe these guys got enough uh direct heat from the fire. Oh, it looks absolutely beautiful. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them over here where there's no direct coals underneath. This is going to be called, uh, just going to bring up the temperature slowly on these guys to about 125. And we're going to pull them and rest them and get the sauce ready. So they have enough direct heat and searing action for what I want. I don't want any more direct heat. I want indirect heat to slowly bring these up to temperature.
Now let's pour on the sauce. That looks amazing. And now we get to taste it. So the sous chef is a little under the weather today. That's why she's not here with me. But this is like some pretty, there's actually a little more we're done. Uh, cooked uh, more than I was uh, expecting or wanting, but taste is still there. Still very good, moist, delicious steak. I have tried some off camera, my apologies. That's good. Normally I'm not a big fan for sauces on steak. I say, um, let the steak speak for itself, let the meat speak for itself, and then that's all you need. However, there are some times when a good sauce makes it taste really, really good. I think this is definitely it. I'll leave a link in the description uh, where I got this thing from. Thanks to who made it. I forget, forget his name at the moment, but um, oh, I'm sorry. Good, good stuff. Really good steak. I'm gonna base that in there. Last little bite. Cheers, everybody. Have a great rest of your day, and keep barbecuing America. Mm. Today's a good day.